Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who unboxing. Yes, today we're doing some high art, some sophisticated Doctor Who unboxing as we're unboxing some Doctor Who books. Mainly Virgin Missing Adventures. Inside this box there are seven Virgin Missing Adventures and with the recent Big Finish adaptation of Goth Opera, which was fantastic, Chef Kiss, check out the review down below, and Big Finish confirming that there are more novel adaptations coming along the way. I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and complete the Virgin Missing Adventures. And listening to a few Doctor Who book podcasts like the Hamster Book Club and the Doctor Who Book Club, which are fantastic little shows, it's reignited my, my inner Doctor Who book fan and I thought, you know what, let's try and complete some of the gaps in my Doctor Who book collection. Um, so without further ado, let's unbox this and I'll do a little preamble while I try and work out how on earth I'm getting inside <laughs> this box to get these books out. Um, so, Virgin Missing Adventures, this is the 30th anniversary of the range uh, happening, um, so it feels a fitting time to try and complete uh, the range. Apologies if you've got headphones, because this is very well wrapped in a shoebox by the looks of it. Um, so I'm very excited to get into this, because I started getting the, the Missing Adventures in 2015. Oh, that's a bit loud. Steady on sellotape. But it's doing its job, it's, it's protecting the books. Um, so yeah, this, is, this isn't very sophisticated, this bit of the unboxing, but we'll get to the sophisticated bit in a minute. I just have to use a bit of brute sophistication force uh, to get inside um, the box. So yeah, um, I started getting the Missing Avengers, like I said, in 2015. My first one was Speed of Flight, um, which is the prequel uh, to Time Lash um, with Third Doctor and Joe. And that sort of spawned me trying to get the missing event jump cut. Uh, so here we have the box, and yeah, let's let's dive in. So we'll open the box up, and I can see the books. Uh, so this is very exciting. This is the main point of the unboxing. So should we start and have a look at what Virgin Missing Adventures we have added to the collection? So there are 33 Virgin Missing Adventures in total in the range. Technically 34 if you want to include Who Kills Kennedy. And with these books this now brings my Missing Adventure collection to 29, so I'm missing four. Um, so at the end I'll do a little Virgin Missing Adventure line to show you the collection. Um, so we have one of the last Missing Adventures, which is the Burning Heart, which is a Sip Doctor and Perry book, um, which is sort of a sort of Judge Dredd sort of inspired one. You can see by the cover, very nice spine, you can see. That's the one thing I like about the, the Missing Adventures. That they've got this really nice sort of cover um, sort of style with sort of the sidebar with the Doctor and companion and a little scene. Um, from the story, so that's really neat. So the next book is one I really wanted to add to the collection um, because it's one that would really interest me and when I was getting into the Missing Adventures I was really enjoying the, the Big Finish Companion Chronicles um, with Peter Purvis and I really wanted to check out Empire of Glass but I could never find a decent copy in like good nick and you can see this is very, very good quality. Um, no crease on, on the spine which is nice. Um, and I think this is the first Doctor Stephen Vicky set in between the Time Medal and Galaxy 4. And I believe um, that this has um, Irvian Bractatel in there. And I think this possibly confirms that they're brothers, I think. It's been a while, um, but I think this one's got some nice little artwork inside, if we can get to the back page. Um, you can see there, this nice little bit of artwork from the story, so yeah, very nice. Andy Lane, very good writer. We have another First Doctor book, so this completes my First Doctor Missing Adventure collection, uh, which is The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Christopher Bulis, I think, yeah, Christopher Bulis, uh, which, you know, very striking cover, very good picture of Hartnell there in a very um, snazzy outfit, Caroline Ford there, and this nice little dragon scene. Um, this is all Doctor Who does fantasy, but there's a scientific explanation. I think it's like nanobots or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I guess it sort of fits in with sort of the most recent series going more sort of fantasy. And this is, I think, the the first original bit of uh, fiction um, with the original TARDIS team of Ian, Barbara, Susan. Um, so yeah, that's very cool. Set in between the Keys of Mar not Keys of Maris, Marco Polo and the Keys of Marinus. Um, so yeah, very chunky. Very chunky book, so yeah, look forward to reading that. And then we have one of the most interesting uh, books um, in the line, which is Millennial Right by, I think, Craig Hinton? Yeah, Craig Hinton. 
Um, gorgeous cover with the Sick Doctor in his Valyard gear, and we've got sort of Bonnie Lankford Mel in her sort of Bride of Frankenstein look. And I believe that this features the Great Intelligence and the Yeti. Um, and I think this is set right after the Trial of a Time Lord. Um, so yeah, very, very striking cover. Um, again, very chunky. One to I look forward to to reading that. Um, and by the looks, this looks like it's a is it a, a library card? Yeah, it's got some missing adventure published date. Okay, so that's 1996. This is so that's interesting. Um, I think that's like a little receipt. But yeah, very neat to have that inside. Um, yeah, there we go. See that. Um, that's cool to have that one. Um, that's that's quite a rare one. Uh, next up, we have the final book to complete my fourth Doctor uh, Missing Adventure collection, which is the English Way of Death. Listen to the Big Finish adaptation, and I really enjoyed it. So, and I believe that the novels are a little bit better compared to the Big Finish adaptation. There. Um, so yeah, very looking forward to giving that one a read. Um, so yeah, that completes the fourth Doctor Missing Venture collection for me. Then the next book is another Sixth Doctor one. This is the penultimate book, which is State of Change, which is the Sixth Doctor and Perry. Um, but yeah, this looks like a very sort of classic sci-fi one with sort of Roman Britain, but it's more evolved, as you can see, with like the Zeppelin. Got a nice little callback to Vengeance on Varus there. And we've got the Sixth Doctor in his toga. We have a lovely sort of question mark um, clasp which is very neat. The villain for this piece, I believe, spoilers, <laughs> this is a 30 year old book, it has the Rani so it's great to have the Sixth Doctor and Perry having a little rematch with the Rani and I believe that this does have some other Doctors featuring within it because I think there's sort of a de-generation uh, uh, sequence within this book. Um, so yeah, big finish within the first to do it but yeah, it's great to have um, State of Change there. That's the spine if you want to know what that looks like. And the last book, um, which I'm very excited to have, um, it's a, I think, sequel to a beloved classic story, I say jokingly. Um, it is a title of another uh, Virgin book, which is Twilight of the Gods, the second Doctor, uh, Jamie and Zoe, not Zoe, Victoria, featuring the return of the Zabi. Hey, look at them, the Zarboys. The beep 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 beep. Um, that's a my Zarbi impression. Uh, yeah, by Christopher Bulis. I believe it's quite a slow book, but the first hundred pages are a bit of a bit of a drag. Uh, I guess much like the Web Planet. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's great to finally have this, and I think that this is the last. No, it's not the last Second Doctor book. I need Invasion of the Cat People to complete uh, the Second Doctor um, collection. So Varel the Virgin Missing Ventures I have picked up. So let's do a little lineup of how the Virgin Missing Venture collection is looking at the minute. Here we have the Virgin Missing Venture collection, what it looks like so far. So we're just missing four. Um, so you can see what it looks like. So we've got Long Barrow, The Dying Days, Goth Opera, Evolution, Venetian Lullaby, Romance of Crime, Ghost of Endspace, Dancing the Code, the Menagerie, Sitem Shock, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, uh, Menagra, Millennial Rights, Empire of Glass, Lord of the Storm, Man in the Velvet Mask. Then we have The English Way of Death, The Eye of Giant, Sands of Time, Scales of Injustice, Killing Ground, Shadow of Wang Chiang, Twilight of the Gods, Speed of Flight, The Plotters, Cold Fusion, Burning Heart, The Vice of Death, The Dark Path, and then we have A Well Mannered War, and then Who Killed Kennedy. Um, as well, so that is what the Missing Venture collection is looking like, so yeah, very nice indeed, very happy to see how that is shaping up in the collection. So there we go, that has been the unboxing of seven Virgin Missing Ventures, so that brings the total of my Missing Adventure collection to 29, so four more to go, hopefully this year we can complete that with just getting downtime, Crystal Bucephalus, uh, time of your life, and the invasion of the cat people. Then we'll have a complete Virgin Missing Venture collection. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching uh, this video and I'll see you next time for whatever that will be. So thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.